Welcome, loved ones. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Cheyenne and Silvino. We are all here to support this commitment of love, to share the joy of Cheyenne and Silvino as they choose to spend their lives together. I'd like to say a prayer first. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful day that has finally come in which we witness the union of Cheyenne and Silvino. We ask that you watch over them and guide them through their days to day lives. Help them stay encouraged in heart and knit together by strong ties of love to lift each other up and to always be quick to forgive until the end of their days. Remind them, Lord, to keep you first in all their <clears throat> marriage because if they put you first above all, no trial will be too great to endure. Father, we put this marriage in your loving hands to mold and to keep safe. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <clears throat> Cheyenne, Silvino, your marriage will be a long life promise to love, respect, trust, and to honor each other through the good and the bad and the unexpected. This union represents commitment to support one another as individual beings, but share your joys, sorrows, and dreams as one. A strong bond works in unison, not only to nurture the best parts of your personalities, but to understand each other's differences and flaws. Uh, you are committed to learn how to grow alongside one another while remembering to keep God first in all things through your journey. Today you gain an equal partner that will be your confidant, your defender, and your motivator through all your aspirations and goals. You will celebrate each other's accomplishments, provide peace through every setback, and most importantly give thanks to God and life's big and little moments in your relationships. You are creating a new life where God, love, trust, and loyalty are the foundation. No matter what the future throws in your way, rely on those foundations and you shall only see your bond grow stronger and your souls grow wiser. Marriage is not easy. But from what I've seen in you too, I know your relationship will be an example for others to follow. You show care and compassion. You trust one another and most importantly, you are each other's friends, best friends. <clears throat> Cheyenne Silvino, you can stand up. Okay. You have written vows. Cheyenne, you may go first with your written vows. Mm -hmm. Don't make me cry. <laughs> so we know. My love, my best friend, my confidant. On many occasions over the last year, I thought I would be writing my will rather than our wedding vows. Although that may sound morbid, I am exceedingly grateful to be here, alive, proclaiming these promises to you. I vow to support your dreams, to be your encourager, and to pray with you and for you. Prometo respetar tu cultura, to stand united in our decisions and to commit myself to you in all circumstances. I will always strive to keep the Lord in the center of our relationship, to make you laugh even in the moments it's easier to cry, and to give you all that I have while jokingly reminding you that what's yours is mine and what's mine is also mine. <laughs> <laughs> in some ways, I remain a version of that 15-year-old girl with stars in her eyes, and you, that rambunctious boy who picked on her in math class. It has been an honor growing up alongside you as I've witnessed the transformation of the man you have become. There is nobody else I can imagine doing life with. I love you from this day to the end of my days, when the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. When the seas go dry and the mountains blow in the wind like leaves, only then will I stop loving. All right, Sylvina, you may do your written vows. Cheyenne, 
As we stand here, I must be honest with you about what to expect and what not to expect out of this marriage. I cannot promise you that I will never steal the covers, but I promise to try. I cannot promise you I will never make you upset, but I, I will make it my oath to make you smile by the end of the day. I cannot promise you um, I will like every meal that you make me, but I promise to eat it anyways. I vow to always try to make you happy and make you feel like the princess that you are, to give you to give you and this marriage 100% and to never betray you. Cheyenne, now with that said, let me tell you that I love you with every part of my being and what we have is special. From the first day we seen, we seen each other, I was drawn to you, not just because of the porcelain skin following a Florida weather, a Florida summer, so I say, um, and your astonishing beauty, but something more. Proverbs 25 reads, the purpose in a man's heart is, sorry, let me start over. The purpose in a man's heart is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Being the fisherman that I am, it didn't take me long to find my purpose in life. She is standing here in front of me in the most astonishing beauty. <clears throat> Cheyenne, you are the most amazing person to ever come into my life. You are my purpose for being created and you give me great honor for, um, for meeting me here to become my wife, especially in these days with the entire world in turmoil. We have already been through so much together and I am ready to go through an infinity more with you, no matter the good, bad, or ugly. Cheyenne, I will love you from this day like I did yesterday and beyond my last day into heaven because not even death will do us part. So we know, do you have the rings? I do. You can take the big one. Do you, Cheyenne, take Silvino to be your husband, to take care of him and to cherish your relationships, to love him tomorrow and forever, to always be open, honest, and faithful to him, to have and to hold from this day forward in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Mr. Ring. Silvino, do you take Cheyenne to be your wife, to take care of her and cherish her relationship, to love her today, tomorrow and forever, to always be open, honest and faithful to her, to have and to hold from this day forward in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto her for as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. You place the ring. <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife. Silvino, you may now kiss your wife.